Bismillahirrahmanirrahim that Ati Allah Ati Rasulullah Al Amri Minkum that they're teaching from the world of light to a people lost in the world of form and hard to have a reference of the world of light. So everything people equate back to the world of form. That our way is, is based on this malakut, this world of light and they try to guide us to the understanding of the world of light. And in the world of light everything is light. That when they describe the kawthar it's a light, when they describe the river it's rivers of light. When they describe an ocean, they're oceans of light. On a body of light, it's not a physical water, it's a spiritual water, it's a nur that flows like a river. What they ask of us is this Muhammadan reality in these articles that they've taught from the reality of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem when Sayyidina Muhammad now in the month of Rajab, Subhana man huwa khalaqa nur went for Israhi wal Miraj. And in that Miraj Sayyidina Jibreel is showing this kingdom that Allah has given to Sayyidina Muhammad So look upon this Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, the tree of all creation, everything created emanating from this beatific Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem and from the meme of Bi Ismi a fountain and a stream was flowing. From the hay of Allah's hidayat a stream was flowing. From Rahman and the meme a stream was flowing. From Rahim a stream was flowing and Sayyidina Muhammad for us to have an understanding so that I looked upon and these four streams were flowing down, ended into an immense, immense what they call fountain and ocean and asked that, what is this ocean? Again for us is all, this is all from the light of Sayyidina Muhammad The dialogue was for later people who would come to pull and extract its realities. And Sayyidina Jibreel said, this is your kawthar, Ya Rasulul Kareem. That from this ocean of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem are four streams flowing down, and Allah gave to you the kawthar. Inna ta'inak al kawthar, that kathiran, more than kathir, that everything is emanating from it. And from Bismillah, inna huwa Sulaiman wa inna huwa Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. And only Allah understood. That actually Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem and its 19 letters is the secret of Muhammad Mim Ha, Mim Dal, Ali, Fatima, Hassan and Hussein. That their names are holding that secret of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem and from the Bi'ismi that stream of Imam Ali is flowing down. From hay of Allah a stream of Sidna Fatima to Zari Salam is flowing down. From Ar-Rahman, Sayyidina Imam Al-Hassan a stream is flowing down. From Rahim, a stream from Sayyidina Imam Al-Husayn is flowing down. When they witness, they witness the immensity of light and from this light opens from that light a stream from the light of Imam Ali Salam begins to flow. So it's not physical, I think I'm going to go somewhere where there's a pond. This Nur Muhammadi an immense light, from it all of a sudden comes out from its light a light of Imam Ali and flowing down. From it comes out the light of Sidna Fatima comes flowing out. From it comes 
from that light of Prophet a light emerges through the light of Imam al Hassan come flowing down. From it the light of Imam al Hussein comes flowing out and that's why these awliyaullah when they were sitting and seeing they said, you see these chiraqs? Their marifa was, did you see these chiraqs and these lights? This Nur al-Ahmad and how beautiful it is that I'm seeing the lights of Imam Ali flowing, the lights of Imam al Hassan flowing, moving lights, Imam al Hussein flowing out of ihtiram, didn't want to mention Sayyidina Fatima out of a respect, this is Imam Ali's wife. But he's sitting at the fountain of the kawthar, at a fountain of light. And his marifa, he's sitting and, and whooshing and drinking from these lights and looking from its source and how they're all coming out from the light of Sayyidina Muhammad This Nurul Ahmadi immense beautiful light and from it streaming out. From it streaming out and making the kawthar. They are the ocean of the light of kawthar above the Bismillahir Rahman Raheem, Haqqam Muhammad wal Hamd. All the Hamd is the Hamd of Sayyidina Muhammad So it means the Ahli Khiswa. Above Bismillahir Rahman Raheem is the Mimha Mim Dal of Sayyidina Muhammad I am li wal Hamd, I am the praise. Below that is that reality. Means the immensity of that secret is coming, dressing. So, this is a fountain of light. So, when these awliyaullah who are kawthari, they sit into this fountain with their light. If you're in a light being and you're in this fountain, you're drinking it, you're swimming in it, you have become it. When we're listening to those nasheed, understand? Their journey was to that fountain. Hasti o masti, they passed all of that to manifest and then to die. All they asked is, Ya Rabbi let us to be at this fountain. Let my light to enter this light and never to leave its light, to become from that light. The manifestation in the reality of that light is the secret that the shaykh is speaking. If the shaykh doesn't have a secret, he's not speaking from that kawthar, he's not from that reality. But what opening from his mouth is because his soul is in that kawthar. As a result of his soul in that kawthar, everything flowing down is from that reality. It's from the light of Sayyidina Muhammad flowing down. It's from the light of Imam Ali Salam flowing down. It's from the light of Sayyidina Fatima Salam flowing down. It's from the light of Sayyidina Imam al Hassan and Imam al Hussein flowing. Because as his soul is in that kawthar, every word that he speaks into this dunya is a kawthar coming down. And they have ulum al awwaleen wal akhireen. Depending upon what Allah want them to speak from, they're speaking from the kawthar. That speech, that light, that energy is the kawthar. I don't know, some people are thinking they're going to go somewhere and find an actual river and I'm going to drink from that river. It's not that. When Allah wants you to drink from the kawthar, He puts you with a kawthari. And that every word that kawthari says, you're drinking from its reality. They revive the dead based on that power. Immediately just the function of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, their insan, their being been activated in that reality and that reality is sending an ishara down upon this creation. Coming from Izzatullah, coming by permission of Sayyidina Muhammad wa Izzat Rasul and then dress from the beautific Ahlul Bayt and Ashab al Nabi for Izzat al Mu'mineen. It's not coming empty. So, the concept of tafakkur is to empty yourself. That when he speaks, don't do anything, just feel the speech 
and ask that, dress me in your light and dress me from the haqqaiq that you are bringing into this earth. Let my soul to feel it and to experience it. Not the one whom speaking from his head about somebody else's heart, but the one whose heart itself is a kawthar. This is not the way of books. This reality, they sit in that ocean, they drink and bathe in that ocean, they are from that ocean. And it moves and emanates upon this earth. So the one whom been granted a permission to hear them, Allah granting you a dress of kawthar. And that's why Imam Ali if you took one alif and understanding from them, you owe your life to them because you don't even understand what you've been dressed with. Means then tafakkur is the way in which to contemplate, look your heart on nothing. And as soon as they speak, everything from the kawthar is flowing through and their speech is strong enough to grab your soul and immediately pull you into that reality and put you and bathe you into that kawthar. It's not something small, not something difficult. It's a power and a qudra from the soul. When that soul is activated in this Blessing is coming down, that blessing grabs everyone's soul and immediately pulls it back into that ocean. They don't need your permission, they don't need your ability. Your tafakkur was to give you a sense of, what's happening? What are you doing? What are you experiencing? So that you feel a shyness that they're dressing me, blessing me. Putting me and bathing me into realities that if I would have lived 1500, 1700 years on this earth, I would have never got that with my salah. I wouldn't have gotten that with my Ramadan. No amal anyone can do that can achieve that. And that's why Allah says, Whom we gave the light, we gave the light. Whom we didn't give the light, they have no light. They don't have that reality. If Allah gave the reality, it's a ni'mat and a gift from Allah So means that we have to remember and think of everything from this world of life. That the kawthar that we are seeking and this fountain of youth that people are trying to reach to, it's already there. You just open your soul to bring it in. Ya Rabbi let me to drink from their kawthar means and that's why that Nat was saying because he was sitting and drinking from the kawthar and his immense beauty of what he's experiencing and that's why when you hear these nats from hundreds of years ago and then been taught today, you know the path that you're on. Because they drink in that kawthar and then Allah go out and teach, go out and tell your students to come with a cup, be a student in the way to take from their kawthar. And be such a good student that you took, you took, you understand it, you absorbed it with your soul. Then now you become the one whom pouring the kawthar. You become saqi, huh? The one whom is pouring for everyone. And those whom drinking of that reality, they're drunk in that reality. The may, may khana means their house and the Khanaqa, that's, that's why we don't call it something else. The khanaqa means in the home of the agha, everybody is drunk from the energy. And their home now is in any home that is watching and listening. They can reach to anyone, anyone who opens their heart to listen, they're in there grabbing everyone and anything around. Even the pets are listening. Anyone has a pet they're sitting and probably listening and watching, more attuned, more attentive than even the insan. They're dressing and blessing and saying that, why you don't become saqi now take it so serious in your life that you want to learn it, you want to be from it and you're going to begin to dispense it to people this kawthar. Then describes then the path is that we all come in this charaq, we're all coming around this charaq of love. We realize that these are ashiqeen, their heart is burning like a fire 
and their soul is sitting in the kawthar and if they open their mouth everything is being dressed from this kawthar. They are hayyu and qayyum because they speak haqq, not from head but they have been tried and tested. Twenty, thirty years of pounding, crushing, we'll go into that talk later tonight. We said the, the zakat of marifa and zakat of haqiqah is not the giving of your money, it's a completely different reality. So when they drink from that kawthar they then encourage everybody, come like that Nat Sharif is saying, come now and gather around our fire, come into our diwana. The diwan, the association of those whom they're not interested in their dunya, they're lost in this love and begging Allah to grant them an audience with Sayyidina Muhammad Intoxicated with an immense love that if all the world is collapsing they got no problem with it because time, the kingdom of my Lord is coming down and it's time to get ready for that appearance. And then after saying, then be like the moth because we're all coming like a moth. Then when they looked at the moth they said, Ajib this moth it burns itself into the flame, it goes into the flame. This is what we talked about the zakat of marifa. The moth not only goes around the fire, say, I like this group, I come, I eat their kebab, I have some tea with them, but the real moth he says, no, actually I want to go now and burn in the flame. He self-sacrifices. He learns to live a life or she live a life of service. As soon as they enter into that service and they begin to burn, then what that shaykh is saying, then why you don't even have that fire within your heart. Not only be the moth that burned but be the actual fire that causing the burn. Now you're at the zakat of haqiq. You begin to sacrifice yourself. You don't put your opinion and your, and your comments, you don't, nobody cares about the comments. I felt like this, I felt like this. You were supposed to die and burn. I don't hear the moth complaining. You don't ever justify yourself, give yourself a, a, a way to answer for it. You're always guilty no matter what anyone says to you. You did something wrong, say, you're right, I'm guilty, I'm burning now. And they don't justify myself and give myself a credit. Means they're burning, burning, burning until the shaykh at the end says, then now you're from the kawthar. You're not only the vessel pouring it, you actually became the reality. You are kawthari, you merely open your mouth and everybody will be dressed from that reality. Whatever they eat is dressed from that reality, whatever they drink is dressed from that reality. And everything has an immense gift and ni'mat from Allah that bring them back into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Not at the entry, not at the entry but from the depth of the holy heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Manzil Qur'an, that beatific heart in which emanating the realities and the holy Qur'an emanating from it, Allah cooling us back to the whole, to that heart, the center of that reality, that kawthari is, is flowing from the center of the Muhammadan heart, qalb al-Muhammadiyah. So it's not from somewhere else, it's the essence of the essence of the essence. We pray that Allah give us a, an understanding of that reality and grant us to taste it. Amen. When they're speaking all you have to do is close your eyes and feel the speech. With their speech they will pull you in. There are many near and far, as soon as they speak they're in a hall feeling and the shaykh is taking them. Taking everyone to that location but those whom Allah granted and their practices are strong, they're witnessing, tasting and feeling it because the path is real. That's why we call it the path of dhawq, it's a path of tasting. Their ilmu yaqeen is moving, their aynul yaqeen taught you it's not the physical eyes, learn how to close your physical eyes. And the haqqa yaqeen immediately grabs the souls and pulls it back faster than the speed of thought. 
That's why we said, this love and this power is beyond understanding and beyond space and time. There is no space and time that stops them in their travel. From that reality as soon as it opens immediately they pull everybody into that ocean and they're drinking in that ocean, they're swimming in that ocean. Then they begin to recommend, why you don't make your tafakkur and contemplation so maybe then you can appreciate what you've been dressed with. And you won't be like jahal where you're being dressed by all these realities and you sell them in two seconds and you complain about everything every other five seconds. If you truly understood and felt what you've been dressed with, you would be a moth running into a fire and you would accept every type of difficulty for the love and sake of Sayyidina Muhammad The soul is taken to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and given all its dress and all its blessings. That soul doesn't trust the body, it's not your body moving up. Everything is given to the soul, every gift and treasure that Allah want to bestow, bestow, bestows to the soul. And the soul doesn't find the body to be worthy of that secret. And the soul doesn't trust the body to be given its secret. And knows that the capacity of the body is very weak. So it waits for a sharat from Allah through the holy light of Sayyidina Muhammad show something. And the order comes and khash will be granted. Hal, let him too or her too feel something. It's coming by a permission because the soul knows that, no, no. If we give this body it may give everything away, things that it had no permission to speak about. So it has to come by a permission, has to come with the ijazah. And every light and every gift that coming to it, if the soul decides to send an energy onto the body it can collapse the body. Its might and the energy that coming is so immense. When you enter into a fever, you enter into heart palpitations, all of these are the energies from the soul coming onto the body. If it's in too much it collapsed the spine of the person because of the izzah coming upon the spine. So it means that everything coming to the soul, the soul is such a high reality that when we recite, قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ nas. Malikin nas, Rabbin nas is what the physicality is trying to, to achieve. To be Rabbaniyoon Allah say, be Rabbaniyoon, they learned the book and they taught the book, this is the only title for Allah Not Naqshbandiyoon, Chistiyoon, Qadiriyoon, Allah's only title Rabbaniyoon. Qul a'udhu bi Rabbin nas, then Malikin nas. If they reach to wilayat and sainthood, Allah grant them to be like kings. And that's why Allah described, there are going to be some they sit on a chair, they sit on a couch or sit on a throne on Yawmul Mashar and in Divinely Presence. So it means they reach to a sultanate in the reality of their soul and then the deep reality, illahi nas. The ilahiyat and the Divinely Godly light that Allah gives to the soul means that when that Divinely light is only from the ocean of oneness of Allah that it's not a physical action that could ever be understood or done. It's the ilahiness and that's why other nations when they didn't understand it they called their people gods which stuff is only one god. But Walayat and sainthood and the miracles of prophets was an ilahi dress. That the reality of what their soul and the responsibility of what their soul was given so immense it's only a Divinely power that comes from Allah's Divinely Presence. If misunderstood they saw this person was like a godly person, a god person astaghfirullah. But such an ilahi dress 
And that's why we said last night, what the soul is doing, many actions. Whatever Allah gave the soul of its command and to watch over them, keep a nazar over them, to pray for them, the soul is doing in an instant. In the power that Allah gave to it, the soul is witnessing all the students that that soul is responsible for within a blink of an eye. And it takes nothing from the soul and the soul has infinite more power from whatever Allah want to send it of power. It's from Allah's infinite oceans. As much as it takes as if that ocean was never touched. It reached everyone, watch everyone. They said before, every technology you have on this earth Allah gave to them first. Monitoring systems now, if your temperature goes up and the student becoming angry, the soul is notified of the guide. And the guide's soul is watching and vigilant over their ghadab, their anger, their character, the actions that they're about to do. And the soul doesn't trust the body. So it means the trust and the secret is given to the soul. Our life on this earth is to gain that trust. So, Ya Rabbi I'm a trustworthy person then be good. I'm a trustworthy person then be kind. As soon as you lose your character and enter into the oceans of badness, that soul walks off. Doesn't mean you didn't achieve what you achieved. That soul achieved whatever it achieved. It just means that soul no longer going to send the secret to that body that engaged in bad things. Until the time in which Allah accepts and may reconnect that reality. But what the soul achieves, the soul achieves. The body is continuously be good, be clean. Be, be of good character, be of loving character so that every time is good Allah give a permission, now send a knowledge, send a reality, send a dress upon the servant. So our whole life's practice is to be good and to listen, to have good character. Why? So that your soul can begin to give you your trust that they reach their ahad, they reached what they promised to Allah Then the soul says, this security clearance is cleared. Prophet giving permission and here's your energy, here's your knowledges, here's everything of these realities that your physical body can handle and that this dunya will benefit from. We pray that Allah give us a himmah in which to reach to that reality, Ameen. that to tame the physicality and to reach to this gift that Allah want and Allah's greatness is that He's now putting the whole of His creation into seclusion. That's Allah's might and majesty. He's just. He says, I don't just like the Muslim people, that would be kind of racist. But I love all my creation and I don't accept their titles. What I accept is their love and submission. Everybody go to your room like a bad kid because <laughs> now kids are very naughty. We are the kids. What do you do when you had naughty little kids? Go to your room. Then they didn't listen and came back out. <laughs> so Allah sent everybody now into their rooms and oh how many people are kicking, yelling, screaming and they're only preoccupied with toilet paper. <laughs> Shows you where their mind is, uh, not, not their prayer beads, not even what food to eat. They're only occupied with toilet paper. <laughs> Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings, and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.